I haven't made videos in a while. I owe it to you guys, so this is kind of last minute, so you know, let's just get it started. I'm such a loser. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Brittany. If you do know who I am, hi, my name is Brittany. First things first, thank you guys so much for helping me reach 99 subscribers. And I was just- Wait, hold up. You're actually at 100 subscribers. Wait, wait, are you sure? Uh, yeah. Take a look. Oh, I guess you're right. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach 99.9 .9 subscribers. I give up. And I feel more And I feel much more motivated to make videos for you guys because now that I know there's at least 100 people in the world watching me, a complete stranger, it just gives me a real nice feeling and I'm so thankful for that. But I'm not going to be doing some special 100 thing, okay? Because the numbers come and go. For this video are tribal life hacks if you haven't seen so in the title below. Because I am actually heading over to Paris, France for summer vacation. Enough of the blah 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 and let's get to the video. So for my first life hack is to actually dress comfortable for the trip you are going to. Make sure you are comfortable with what you're wearing because it is a pretty long a uh, flight, trip, drive, train, and you just have to make sure that, hey, I'm here, I'm relaxed, I can sleep, and I'm feeling good. Alright, so that's just like my number one essential. And like, you know, just make sure you know what you're doing. If you want to dress in a tight pencil skirt with a blouse on and heels, then you do you. Moving on. Alright, so tip number two is actually a special way of packing. And what I do is a special life pack that people have been doing for a while. And if you're not doing this, clearly you're still stuck in 2017. So this is a really nice one that I usually do because it saves space and it's also a way of me packing clothes as a whole outfit and also saving space at the same time. Following that channel life hack is tip number three, and that is rolling your clothes instead of folding. You should know this as well because it's the basics of saving space, and it really does. So just by rolling up all your clothes, it's easier for it to stay organized and have enough space for everything else. Now for travel hack number four is to actually use a toiletry bag and you know just keep your toiletry stuff together. Believe me, you do not want to lose your toiletry stuff. And that means you gotta spend on more toiletry stuff. Coming up on the list is travel hack number five. Packing stuff into your shoes. It's basically saving more space in your luggage by shoving things inside. So what I like to do is actually put perfume in my socks so it doesn't break and then I put the socks into the shoe and by doing that, I'm preventing the perfume to break and to save space my luggage by putting the sock that has the perfume in it into the shoe. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Moving on. Now tip number six is actually for when you are traveling. Make sure you keep all your electronic devices in the same spot, especially in airports. When it comes to time for them to scan your bags and luggage or like carry-ons and all that, they're going to tell you to take all the electronics out so they can scan it separately. And just a following up tip for the scan at airports, do not wear a belt. Don't wear jeans that fall down. Don't low ride. Wear sweats and you'll be fine. Believe me. Enough experience. It's a pack light but efficient. So you gotta make sure you get the necessary things in there. Don't overdo it. Cause as girls, we tend to overpack. I still overpack but I don't mind. 
It's just a way of making sure that our trip is going to go successfully well. We don't worry about a thing. We have absolutely everything that we need. It's just a girl like stick. So for tip number eight, purchasing plane, boat, train tickets in general. Either you buy it in advance, I'm talking like three to six months before the trip, or you buy it the day of, which is really risky unless you don't have a specific destination. And again, I don't have to worry about that. It's my parents' job because I'm only four, so. So for tip number nine is to pack as much snacks as you can. From boredom, you tend to eat more. So you're going to be bored the whole ride, which means you're going to be eating and eating and eating and eating. And with that, I'm going to end my video off there. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm not really going to ask for the likes and comments. You do it if you want to do it. Just you do you. Thank you guys again for helping me reach 100 subscribers. And I might be doing a Q&A if people are willing to ask me questions. Or if I just don't get any questions in general, I'm going to search up random questions on the internet that were meant for other people. And I will answer with my own opinion. 